also very cool. Richard Armitage is here. Hello to you. Hello. Uh, very cool to be in Spooks, which we're going to be talking to you about shortly. Yes, he's in this sort of guy of Gisborne Black. I yes. am. I always wear black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll ask you why in a minute. We'll be uh, yeah, speaking to Richard about the new series of Spooks just a moment. First, though, here's a quick last look at what's happening where you are. We'll see you very soon. Welcome back. Our favourite TV spy series is back with a deadly mix of kidnappings, bomb plots and dangerous missions. Spooks returns to BBC One tonight and with it a new character who's just come in from the cult. Yeah, we'll be trying to uh, pry some secrets out of Richard Armitage in just a moment. But first, the moment when Agent Lucas North is quite literally revealed. Welcome home, Lucas. How are you feeling? Fine. Good. Cold. Cold coming in from the cold. Richard is here now. Very good to see you. Thank you very much. Um, well, perhaps we should be introduced to your character first of all in the backstory. Yes, Lucas um, was a former MI5 operative and protege of Harry Pierce. He's been incarcerated in Russia for eight years and he returns at the beginning of the series to the pieces of his life and tries to put them all back together. One of those pieces is to try and find a way back into MI5 and the grid and uh, he has to really prove himself to mm. do that. Mm. And uh, he's not, there's a question mark really over him. Yes. Yeah, so uh, how trustworthy you really yeah. are? Well he's, I think because you don't really know what's happened to him and we deliberately left that um, quite murky of, of what happened over the eight years, he, he kind of He's been interrogated and we don't know what's been extracted from him and what's been planted on him. So he comes back and he's got dirt on his feet and he sort of tramples it everywhere and everyone picks up a bit of it. And it, it sort of, it runs through the series really, the, the, the Russian influence that he yeah. brings back. The question of whether you've been turned or not. In yes. fact, we, let's, before we speak to you anymore, let's just see the, the, when you get introduced to the rest of the team first yeah. of all, because it sets this up. Lucas North, I presume. Welcome back. Thank you. Connie. Connie James. Connie James. Stuff of legend. Stuff of nightmares, possibly. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you. Madam. How's your mum? Oh, she's very well, very well. You look... Uh, you look... Uh, is there anything I can get for you? Hot soup? <laughs> no, I can add chips, thanks. But, uh, tell you what, though, I've had a decent cup of tea in eight years. What? Is it really eight years? Oh, it flew by. These Russian prisons, they're like holiday camps. They've got mattresses and everything. Lucas, I know you're exhausted, but would you mind waiting a moment before we begin the initial debriefing? Of course. I see it's a hint of suspicion there already. What was that yeah. all about? Well, I think it's... Um it's, it's quite difficult when, when he's been away for so long and because he knows people and they know him very well and the man that he was before isn't the man that comes back and I think they recognise it straight away. I mean, yeah. it looked pretty awful there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you had to learn some various skills for the job, yeah. not least a little bit of Russian. A bit of Russian, yes. Which was quite tough, It was. It was tough. I started back in November and I, I picked up a CD and tried to learn the language, which was impossible, so then I had to learn it phonetically. And there were big chunks that, that I was given and then uh, turned up on, on the day of shooting to be told, oh, no, it's, don't worry, it's been cut. So <laughs> I've been up to four in the morning no. learning, learning big chunks of Russian. Mm. But well, the other thing you had to undergo that was much more dramatic, which is waterboarding. Mm. Yes, there's a scene where um, Lucas has a flashback to some, some interrogation and uh, that in part of that interrogation was, t was uh, waterboarding. And, uh, Could you which explain is, that to, yes, to, to people? That well, it's, it's a way of simulating the effect of drowning. So... Um, Apparently, it doesn't harm the body, but it, it, it uh, causes a psychological trauma, which is the body struggling to not drown. Yes. Um, you're, you're placed on a board, and then yeah, literally you're, you're water is slightly is tilted back, and then a, a, a damp cloth is over your face, and then they pour water into to your nostrils and your mouth. So, so what and was you, that like as an yeah. experience? To I mean, I have quite a big fear of of water anyway, so it was it was difficult. But I, I felt that if we were going to represent it on, in a show that's as serious as Spooks, that it to 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 not experience it fully would be um, wouldn't be you know justified. So what was it like? 
Um, I think I managed about five seconds. I mean, I was, my head wasn't restrained, so I could shake off the cloth if I needed to, and, and I think I managed about five seconds before I... And because it is, it's a technique used by the Americans yes. in Guantanamo Bay, yeah. isn't it's it? It's a controversial technique. Which Great definition of whether it is or isn't torture, yes. I mean, you've got a view and your on that view now. Was I would say that it was pretty pretty torturous. The psychological effect mm. of, of any longer than, than I managed to sustain would, would be pretty damaging, I'd say. Mm. But worth experiencing. Mm. Yeah, interesting. So, um, in a manner of speaking, I suppose, but as you say, true to form, I suppose, for spooks, it, it's, it's not afraid of going places. No, and I think that's... that's in terms of, the, of reality. Yeah, this, the show is, is very much, it has its feet rooted in truth, and I think that's uh, an example of, of, you know, exactly that. Mm. Well, and you, you, I mean, you, you said, it, I think, it's a pleasure to get away from... Guy of Gisborne, yeah. <laughs> but he's, it, you see, it's still sort of slightly, you know. Well, we're not entirely sure. Dark character, isn't it? Um, yes, I mean, I think that's the way that he's introduced, and I think that the, there are. That it's like planting a garden. You, but is, are you worried? Is, do you think you're getting sort of slightly typecast here? I mean, well, I know he's very I different. Mean, if from if I am, it's uh, it's because it's my own choice to do so. But I think that, that as the series progresses, he he becomes uh, he comes into the light, really, I, I suppose, uh, yeah. the character. It, it's it, been such a fabulous franchise of programme. I mean, what was your first reaction when you found that uh, you'd won the role? Well, I, I mean, I hesitated for a second because um, obviously um, Rupert is a very popular character and, and the show is, has done so well. I didn't, I didn't want to uh, sort of bring it down in any way, but then I watched the last three series back to back, stayed up till four in the morning, was completely hooked, and so uh, I didn't. And then was on the phone to my agent the next morning, going, so "Yep, get me that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a definite." What's really interesting about it, and, and, and keeps you watching from episode to episode, is that the life expectancy of any yeah. character you is indeterminate. Yeah, so you have exciting. no idea who's who's in and who's out. Who's out yeah. And uh, so, how far in advance will you know if you're going to um, be I, one I of those? I do that think that they're, they're quite kind. They do bring you in and say. Uh, you know, before, the, before the scripts are issued, before you open the script and go, oh, okay, I'm dead. Oh, right, yeah. um, but um, th there are a few thrills and spills in this series and, and shocking moments well, mm. we to come. So. Hope you make it to the end of the series. <laughs> yeah, right, we'd like you. to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> and why black? Why do you white black? Oh, it's just God. Just to think. You know, I have to bring a little bit of him with me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Really thank good to see you. Thank, thank you very, very much. much for coming in. Tomorrow, Gok One is going to be here. Fabulous. As